Hey, Xavier, finals football. Um, I guess the decision to come to Melbourne has been a, a good one so far for you. Are you, are you reassured by the decision now? I was reassured uh, when I came here in November. Um, I've loved my time uh, so far here and uh, it's even better I get to play a bit of finals footy. It's my first taste of it. There's a few of us boys, uh, we've got Noffa, Means, uh, all having a taste of finals footy now. So I think we're all really looking forward to it. Is that something you can harness that excitement? Because there's a lot of folks who have played a lot of finals football as well, but you know, you guys can really sort of um, harness that excitement. That yeah, no, we're, we're all really looking forward to it. Um, I think we spoke about uh, this morning about uh, not straying away from what you normally do uh, leading up to a game. And uh, even, it, even though it is finals footy, um, we haven't really had a taste of it. So I think we're getting advice from everyone that's sort of played it. And uh, we're really looking forward to the challenge coming up. The Raiders are in really good form and uh, we want to go out there. And we're playing at home, so we want to get the win, obviously. So you'd imagine you need to improve to go all the way, right? How much improvement is there left in this side? I think there's a lot of improvement still left on the side. The last two weeks we haven't showed our full potential and um, leading into the finals, uh, this is the game that we want to start showing it. And uh, The Raiders, like I said, they're an um, informed team. The last two weeks they've um, towered up teams. So uh, I think we, when, we, when we go out there we really want to make an impact and uh, I think it starts with our first 10 minutes on the field, um, uh, leaving no stone unturned uh, when we go out there. And um, I think, like I said, the start of our game is really important. That sets up the whole game, the whole tone of the game. Would you have liked the, yeah, sure. the Broncos to, to sneak in? Do you have an eye on, on that? Oh, obviously, uh, I, I've got a fair few mates still back at um, Broncos, and uh, it's a bit disheartening seeing them um, not make the finals. And um, myself, I, I love seeing my mates achieve uh, goals of theirs, and their goal was to make the finals. And um, when they got that cut short, it was uh, a bit disheartening. And um, no, I've messaged a few of the boys and um, they're, they're in um, high hopes at the moment, but uh, it was a bit tough for them um, not making the finals, but um, they got their heads held high and they had a really good year turning things around from last, last year, come 14th to come in 9th place, it's still an improvement and um, I think uh, next year they're really going to push off the top of the table. Given they aren't in the top 8 and, and you're, you're in, are there going to be a few Broncos going for Oh, I'd like to hope so. We try and get as many Storm fans as we can uh, can get, and uh, it sort of starts off at Amy Park this week coming up. We've got a home game, like I said, and uh, we really want to make a, a good impact out there in front of our home crowd. What have you made of the Raiders? Their, their form heading into the finals has been excellent to, to sneak in. Yeah, no, it's been really good. Um, watched a bit of footage this morning on them, and um, yeah, they're a really classy team, especially the last couple of weeks. Um, uh, at the start of the year, sort of, they had a couple of injuries and um, sort of stringing a couple of wins here and there together, but now the back end of the year where it really matters, um, they've pulled everything together and um, they're looking like a really classy team. So um, it's going to be a really big challenge for us come Saturday Arvo and um, I think we're um, getting ready to um, go up against them and it's going to be a pretty big match. You the boys today have spoken about that move into finals footy, really getting the defence right and building the game from there. Is that how you see it as well? Yeah, definitely. Well, uh, this club's built um, on its defence and um, we spoke about it uh, all year and um, leading up to this finals is defence wins games and uh, you can have all the attack you want and score all the tries but if you're leaking as many as you're scoring then you're obviously not going to win the game so uh, defence is a big part of our game and um, when we go out there uh, we want to make a big impact with it. When you've thought yeah. I guess, through your professional career about playing finals footy and that's, this is when you can really build your reputation, write yourself into a club's folklore. What does that mean to you? Well, it's pretty big. Um, when we start our pre-season, we look back at um, the achievements that Melbourne Storm have had over the uh, last couple of years and decades, and um, you see them lifting up that trophy, and um, it's really inspirational when you see that. And um, as a group, collectively, we want to achieve that as well. And I think every team that's playing finals wants to achieve that, but. Um, we've worked extremely hard over the year and in the pre-season and um, now it's just about bringing it all together in the final series and um, we're really looking forward to it. What do you say to those who say you can't win from fifth? Yeah. Well, it's final series so um, whatever's happened during the year, it's, it's happened now and um, it's all elimination now so the better team's going to win and um, the team that loses, they're, they're knocked out so uh, it doesn't matter how good you think you are, you can turn up to a game and you can lose it and you're out so uh, I think you just got to have a bit of humility about it and rock up to the games and um, hopefully that day um, you're better than the opposite uh, team.